People come from all over the world to try to pull off the ultimate quokka selfie. Is that not the cutest animal on earth? With no predators and an abundance of food, the animals appear to live a happy life on Rottnest Island, 20 kilometres off the Perth mainland. But little was known about their numbers or the health of the population until scientist Veronica Phillips embarked on a research project, the first of its kind in almost 40 years. So we really needed updated information in order to, to protect this population into the future. She's discovered that the quokkas on Rottnest are incredibly adaptable, thriving despite significant development on the island. Most people would think tourism and its associated development would actually be um, detrimental to a species, but on Rottnest Island it looks like it's actually helping the species. An article on the news website The Huffington Post started the online quokka craze in 2012, and since then the number of tourists visiting Rottnest has increased by 20%. We're seeing more and more international tourists and uh, we know that there's a, a huge community out there on social media saying that they're coming to the island to see the quokkas. Marketing experts tracked the use of the phrase quokka selfie online and estimate it reached 670 million people last year alone. The Rottnest Island Authority says it would need to spend $6.2 million on advertising to get anywhere near that level of exposure. But internet trends have a limited lifespan, so the Rottnest Island Authority and the science community are trying to come up with new ways to harness that popularity. Bringing everyone together and having this discussion and accumulating funds for the protection of the quokka is a really good thing. But visitors are warned to keep a respectful distance or else. Charlotte Hamlin, ABC News.